BBC Radio Devon. A new art exhibition is uh, set to bring a taste of Soho sleaze to North Devon. That's good for me. Soho Riot is a new show coming to the Fleek Gallery in Elfricombe. It features the work of two artists who share, well, the, the punk aesthetic. It's the joint creation of Mark Sloper, a filmmaker who counts uh, members of the Sex Pistols among his friends. And Henry Haight, a tattoo artist who's worked on Amy Winehouse. Wonderful. Mark Sloper joins me now. Morning, Thanks, Neon. Uh, thanks for that, uh, fit, fit, uh, Fitz. My, um, my art name's Mark Illuminati, because I like to light things up. Now, yeah, you keep changing your names. Is it Neon Illuminati, Mark Illuminati, Sloper Illuminati? Sl <laughs> uh, Mark Illuminati's good, but it's Illuminati Neon. Because so, obviously I light the world up and, uh, you know, we're the uh, masters of the world. You do. Um, I'm just looking at some of your art online and uh, remarkable. The electric blue hair of Her Majesty, I think, sets her off beautifully. <laughs> yeah, I think she looks rather beautiful. I've sort of enhanced the picture of her from an old 1950s coronation picture to make her look um, as absolutely beautiful as she possibly can. I think she looks like Elizabeth Taylor in it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes. Actually, yes, there is a, there is a hint there. So, uh, are you part... Part artist, part jobbing electrician. How on earth do you do these things? I'm just looking at the structure of it. Yeah, they're, they're complicated. They're, they're they're very much mixed media. They um they start as they start as a traditional picture, as a painting. Um, I grew up in Cornwall and I grew up in an art family and I went to art college. Um, so they started as pictures and then I was introduced to Neon by the, the, the king of Neon who was called Chris Bracey who unfortunately passed away a few years ago who is the man that lit up Soho but he kind of showed me how to do it and I've taken it upon myself to carry it on and I, I just love the way it looks in, in people's homes and restaurants and bars. It just looks, it's just a lovely, lovely looking thing. Old fashioned, turn of the century Neon. It does. Does it flicker? Because I tell you what, every, th every time I think of Neon, I think of a sign just about to give up the ghost. No, that's, <laughs> that's when the Transformers have had their day. No, it's yes. a very smooth... Uh, the uh, electric pumps the gas and it's all nice and smooth. Oh, God. And how on earth do you work with a tattoo artist? Explain what we are going to be seeing at the, the Fleet Gallery. Well, um... I'm mainly in galleries in the West End and Mayfair, but um, we, we've got this little secret society called the Art Society of Soho, and Henry's a member of it, and you get inv invited to join if you're a sort of working Soho artist, and uh, Henry is from Los Angeles, and he's got great, I, li I just like his art, and I thought our art complemented each other, and we've done a joint piece for the show in Devon, which is a Frida, Frida Kahlo piece, which will be in the window at Fleek, and we're great mates, and what we're, what, what our plan was to do was to take our art and turn it into like a rock and roll band so it's going to tour the country right so we turn up places have a bit of a party meet meet all the local people and uh have, have a bit of fun and hopefully they'll enjoy the art well uh i don't know the, the fleek gallery um i'm assuming if it is in ilfracoom in north devon that area i'm it guessing is. it's not damien hurst's gallery is it it's not but the work in there kind of fits what damien would like it's very modern it's a cool little gallery. It's been there about a year, I think. It's owned by a man called Dan Martin, who's a sort of local, and uh, you know, and he sells a lot of my work there. But um, you know, a lot of people from London, unfortunately, buy it and then take it back, which seems a bit ironic. Yeah, yes. Um, yeah, they come down, they visit, and fine. We'd lovely to see visitors coming in. But I mean, are you are you precious about your art? Do you want to know where it goes and who it's gone to? Do you know what? I, 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 I thought I would be, because there's some pieces that I've, I've kind of made over the years that I've really missed. But as you become sort of more commercial and uh, you you don't, you just want it to go to places where it's going to be seen. Unfortunately, quite a lot of my art now gets bought and put into uh, collectors uh, like warehouses. It never sees the light oh, of day, which no. is just, it's really sad. But that's buying, not art, that's buying an investment. And that it's investment, and that's what happens as soon as you have a sort of a, any kind of small success, people buy it on the, on, on the idea that it's going to be worth more money when I'm dead, which uh, <laughs> hopefully won't be too soon. Well, no, uh, end on a cheery note. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised, can I ask how old you are? 
54 years old. Ah, right, OK. Sorry, you've got it as a picture of you there. You're young and beautiful and... and oh, yes. And, 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 no yes. wrinkles on me, sir. Nothing at all, I tell you. Highly polished. But I was just wondering, at 54, would you have touched on the original period of, of the Sex Pistols and of punk? Yes, very much. I mean, I, I, I sort of got into punk at a very early age. I was 11 years old. Um, and for many years, throughout my early teens, I was the mascot for the original Adam and the Ants. And I used to go on stage and introduce them, and I got to know all the other bands. And oh, as I got older and I went to art college, I made lots of films. I've got films on Sky now about all the punk bands. And, uh, yeah, you know, punks, you know, the music you listen to is when you're 13, is the music that stuck with you for the rest of your life. Uh, what was it about punk? I mean, I love it. Um, um, I, I just... There's something about it that you suddenly think, no, I'm not going to go down the same route as, you know, it was all rebellious. It wasn't rebellious. It was just, I just, uh, I just think it was fun. I thought it was just great fun. I just thought they looked really naughty. You know, I, when I first saw the Sex Pistols on top of the pops and I saw Johnny Rotten and Steve Jones, I was like, oh, I just want to be with them. I just want to hang out with them. And I like the clothes and the, the hair and the music was powerful. And But it was just fun. And, 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 you know, and the music even now stands up. I oh, mean, yeah. you, it's, a, it's just the you know, Clash and the Pistols and the Banshees. I'm really good friends with the Damned. I make their films. I, I, I still love it. You know, I kind of try and leave, you know, live my life with some sort of punk idea on it. I just want to have fun. Uh, you know, some, I walked past a door a few days ago and I listened to the music. It was uh, Germ Free Adolescent. Was it X Ray Specs? Yeah, X Ray Specs. It's a great song. It is. And it's it's the grinding effort that the singer is trying to get these words out and so, I, yeah. so I would suggest actually you know I've forgotten her name polystyrene he's good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should be your mastermind for punk I was going to say you want to go for 20,000 you can phone a friend oh, now yeah. <laughs> you won't, I won't need to by the way your uh, art is for sale at this exhibition it's uh, as the, the you know it's called filthy lucre as the punk phrase goes yeah everything <laughs> every, everything's for sale at all times uh that's brilliant my look thank you for trying to get yeah. across london for us today on time as well i've now got to let you go uh you are down here on the 23rd well tomorrow the exhibition night. yeah, the, yeah. The, the exhibition starts on the 23rd and yeah goes i'll on. be down there tomorrow um in the gallery from sort of six till nine to say hi to people and uh i can talk them through the works there's some lovely work there i've brought a lot down from london and uh, I can, you know, um, it's a great little gallery, and I know Dan's given out drinks, so people pop along and say hi and have a look at some. It's not there's other art there as well as mine, but uh, I think mine's got most of the space for the next couple of weeks. Great. By the way, how are you getting it down? Or is it has it already arrived? I had it shipped down in the van last week. I've got a little bit more to bring down some new stuff, but most of it's in situ. It's a balance that on the back of the bike and away he goes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, now, hang on, let's get this right. Uh, Neon Illuminati, Mark Sloper. Oh, uh, Mark Illuminati. Mark Illuminati. Illum Illuminati Neon. You can find me on Instagram as Mark underscore Illuminati. And the webpage to get hold of or, uh, just a glimpse of what you do? IlluminatiNeon.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Phil.